You wake up in the morning with a bad hair day But you really want your hair to be slayed Go to Queen T, go to Queen T, go to Queen T Hey, 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 this is Queen T and welcome back to my channel If you're new here, thanks for joining us And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so That you too can become a part of my Royal Squad We get it popping over here on this channel If you're already part of my Royal Squad Thank you for continuing to rock with your girl It is so much appreciated Today I'm going to be doing a completely glueless yes ladies glueless install on this little cutie that i picked up from love me hair so if you want to see how i obtain this look stay tuned You wake up in the morning with a bad hair day, but you really want your hair to be slayed. Go to Queen T. Go to Queen T. Go to Queen T. Go to Queen T. You trying to do your hair, but it's never on fleek. A little help is what you seek. Go to Queen T. Go to Queen T. Like, subscribe below. You wake up in the morning feeling like it's your turn. Now you ready to learn. You wake up in the morning with a bad hair day, but you really want your hair to be slayed. Go to Queen T. Go to Queen T. Go to Queen T. Go to Queen T. You trying to do your hair, but it's never on fleek. A little help is what you seek. Go to Queen T. Go to Queen T. Like, subscribe below. You wake up in the morning feeling like it's your turn. Now you ready to learn.
You wake up in the morning with a bad hair day, but you really want your hair to be slayed. Go to Queen T, go to Queen T, go to Queen T, go to Queen T. You trying to do your hair, but it's never on fleek. A little help is what you see. Okay, so I'm back and I just finished styling the wig. I did this completely glueless again. I just used my uh, She Is Bomb Collection Sweet Caramel Tinting Mousse. And this this wig was so simple. This is so easy, so beginner friendly. I did get this from Love Me Hair. And it's their trendy shortcut bob, I believe is what it's called. But I will leave all the information down in the description box. As well as a direct link to this wig. So you can pick one up yourself. But you guys, I'm... You really could wear this out of the pack. You know that I just I just don't do that. I have to wash my units and everything first. But this this wig came pre bleached, and I mean, and it's bleached pretty good. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna pop some um, of my fit me powder in this part to try to because I got that cap on. But yeah, this wig came pre bleached. Um, it came pre plucked. I didn't do any plucking. Um, it's just the it's just like a four by four closure right here. That's it, and it's got lace in the middle. It's already pre-parted everything for you. Now, this is not the particular side that I wear my part on. However, I mean, I can I can deal with it. It's going to be fine. Um, but, yeah, we're going to go ahead and pop some of this powder into this part just to get the part to pop. And it kind of cover up that cap. I didn't even do a ball cap, you guys. You see, I just put on a stocking cap, put some of my... Um, Ruby Kisses 3D Cream Foundation on there just to kind of tint the cap a little bit. And I just put this on. And I use, like I said, I use the, um, I use the tinting foam. And it's kind of sticky, so that's what helps kind of lay it down and mold to your head. And I just tied it down with my Ultimate Melt Belt. You guys, this right here is the business. This, um, melts anyways. I mean, it just gives you that, fall, that flawless install. I would recommend getting one of these if you can get your hands on one. I will leave the link to this also in the description. You can also get um, other things she sells on her website like this wet stick. I did try to at first go in with this new product. It's a got to be glue spray wax. So it's supposed to be like a wax and a spray. But it just wasn't giving me the same effect that my regular wax stick gave me. So you guys see I switched up to the wax stick. And then my hot comb. I tell you guys this all the time. Your hot comb is going to be your best friend for getting that flat install. You don't want to look like you have a helmet on your head. So a wax stick and your hot comb will be your best friend in any install that you do. Um, but I think it looks pretty good. I've just popped the powder in there. And I think that looks really good. It looks really natural. Um, I did a no baby hair look. Um, I'm trying to maybe steer away from the baby hairs a little bit. Just to have a more natural look. But this wig didn't require any baby hairs. It didn't need any baby hairs. Um, and it's almost giving you frontal vibes. Like, it's, you know. But it's very, it looks very, very natural. I hope that it's coming off on camera. Um, just about how natural this is looking. Um, 
But yeah, you guys, I, I think it's just as adorable, just as cute as it wants to be. A real easy, fun summer. I know we're in the, in the, nearing the end of summer, but still, I mean, this could be something that could be worn all day long or all year long, excuse me. Um, just pop that on, pop that baby on and go. So I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I hope that you've got something from this tutorial. And remember, if you don't chase your dreams, you'll never catch your dreams. Until next time, bye. Like, subscribe, believe.